Hi, welcome to Health Time 3. Today we're going to speak about pink eye. Pink eye is a common name for conjunctivitis. This is an inflammation of the white part of the eye and the inner surface of the eyelid. If something is inflamed, this means it is red, swollen, itchy or sore. Now while pink eye can be scary, it does not lead to any long-term vision problems. If you do have pink eye, however, you should see a doctor because while some kinds of pink eye go away on their own, others require treatment. Pink eye can be caused by bacteria and viruses. Many of the same germs that cause air infections and sore throats also cause pink eye. Allergies can also cause pink eye. An allergy means that you are sensitive to and become irritated by something in your environment. Whatever it is that cues your allergy is called an allergen. Some common allergens are dust, fur from cats and dogs, and pollen from flowers. A baby born to a mother with a sexually transmitted disease may also get pink eye. This is because during birth, the bacteria or viruses may pass from the birth canal into the baby's eyes. To prevent this, the doctor may give an antibiotic ointment to the baby immediately after birth. Another way of preventing this is testing and treating pregnant women to prevent the transmission of an infection to a baby. One of the most common symptoms is discomfort in the eye. You may feel as if you have dust in your eye or an eyelash. Another symptom of pink eye is a pussy discharge which may cause your eyelids to be stuck together when you wake up in the morning. Some people also have swollen eyelids or sensitivity to bright light. Pink eye is very contagious. A child may get pink eye by touching an infected person or by touching something an infected person has touched, such as a doorknob. You also get pink eye by swimming in contaminated water or by sharing contaminated towels. Because it is so contagious, people with pink eye usually stay away from work or school until the infection has passed. One way of avoiding pink eye that is caused by bacteria and viruses is by washing your hands often with warm water and soap. Also, do not share personal items such as towels, pillowcases, or eye drops. If you do have pink eye, be sure to carefully dispose of any tissue that you have used to clean your eyes. Also, wash your laundry separately from that of the rest of the household. This will prevent the infection from spreading to the entire family. If you are prone to allergic reactions, keep the windows and doors closed on days when the pollen is heavy. Also dust and vacuum often to make sure that allergens don't accumulate in the home. The only way to avoid conjunctivitis caused by allergic reactions is to avoid the allergens themselves. If you think your child has pink eye, you should see a doctor to determine what's causing it and how to treat it. Other serious conditions may cause similar symptoms to pink eye. So if a child complains of itchiness, redness, or soreness in the eye, he should be examined. And if the pink eye does not go away after one or two days, do see a doctor. That's it for today. I'll see you again soon.